The design of the stool incorporates 16 joints, all set at a 6 degree angle. It should be noted that for these angles no adjustment is necessary. Dalmax automatically adapts to the 6 degree angle or any other angle for that matter. I'll demonstrate the upper rail joint which is basically a 7 8 by 3.5 inch rail into a 1 3 quarter by 1 3 quarter turned leg. Both ends of the rail are cut at a 6 degree angle and the dowels will automatically align at 6 degrees to the horizontal axis of the rail. To centre on the 7 8 rail we first use a simple formula half thickness minus 3 8 So 7 8 half equals 7 16 minus 3 8 equals 1 16. We therefore use and add a 16 spacer to the centre to centre on the rail. I want an approximate 3 8 relief on the turned leg and therefore I use a 3 8 spacer between reference bracket and the guide block. Ok, let's get started. The first thing to realise is that in this particular case we have a total of 16 joints in the assembly. So it's better to use numbers rather than check marks for reference points. All you do is align the numbers to the check marks machined on Delmax faces. I'll begin with the top rail. This is in fact joint number 13. So align the check mark to the numbers. So we have number 13 here and on this, this end here, or this edge. So we align Dalmax to these numbers very carefully. Now I'm going to drill 1, 2, 4 and 5 using the, the 16th washer, so that's to centre on the 7th, 7, 8th thick wood. And I say we'll drill 1, 2, 4 and 5. That's that one complete. All accurate within thousands of an inch. I'm now going to complete the leg joint. There's your the X for the the reference mark. Now in this case I'm using the 3 8 spacer between the reference bracket and the guide block. This in actual fact will give me a 5 16 offset. Uh, th the difference in the 16th is because we've already used the 16th spacer in the other workpiece. Now again check marks to the number 13 and th the number 13 is on the end here. So carefully align it and then do well, the same rule, drill one, two, four and five. Again, 
that's it. That's it finished. Now, I've already drilled these, but what you do here is use the extended disc gauge, which was the same for all four joints. Align drill max to the to the end of the extended distance gauge and drill one and two, which will give you these two here. All we have to do is these are nice snug dowels, which is advantageous. 13 to 13. This is all dry fitted and it's very, very strong and stable. Stronger than a mortise and tenon system. <laughs> 